Hey guys, back with another video for my addictive blogging channel. So gestures are one of the most important features in any of the Android devices. And as the Nothing Phone 1 comes with a stock Android, we are missing one of the features in this phone that is the gesture support. And now you can activate any gesture in the Nothing Phone 1. You can turn on the flashlight, you can even open apps, you can go to next track and you can even click picture with the gestures in this phone so definitely we will see what is the app which will enable us to activate the gestures in this i think phone one and also we will see what are the things we can do with the gestures so as always this will be a sick video guys and if you are a to see us don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel hit that bell notification up because i will be making more videos like this so the netting phone one has been a great device and it is getting a lot of updates recently which is making this device a lot better than before a lot of new features are added in this phone and some of the gestures are already available by default in the netting phone one although it comes with the stock android in it so we will first see what are the gestures that are available in this phone first so to check all the gestures which are available we need to come to the settings of the phone and here if we come to the system you will get the option of gestures so with gestures we can see some of it are already available like quickly open camera so this gesture will help you to quickly open the camera in the nothing phone one also the hold power for assistant feature is available where you can hold the power button to launch the google assistant in this phone and there are some other gestures like tap to show lock screen which will enable you to see the lock screen info with tapping on the device and also lift to show lock screen and the android gesture navigation option is also available so with the gesture navigation you can just slide from left to right to go back and forward which you already know if you are using an android device so these are the gestures which are available in the nothing phone one already and you can see these are not enough for us to control the device that is the nothing phone one so once the gestures are activated in the nothing phone one you can perform several actions by just moving your phone like i can move my phone like this one time and the torch will be activated and i can move my phone again the torch will be deactivated and i can open this spotify app by moving my phone like this so definitely this is a really great feature you can have in the nothing phone one and you can control the entire phone with the gestures once activated so let's see how we can enable this gestures so first of all you need to download one app which will enable the gestures in this phone and once you have downloaded the app you need to give the permission and enable certain actions so the app which you need to install in this phone to get the gestures is the micro gestures and this is a free app and if you want to get all the features you need to purchase this app so i will show the features in the free version of this app so once you have installed the app you need to open it and once you have opened it you need to give some of the permissions which are required for this app to perform so first you need to enable this and to enable this you need to go to settings and you have to enable the micro gesture basic service once you have enabled it you are ready to add the gestures there are a number of ways with which you can configure the gestures for the nothing phone one so under gesture if you click on this button you will see that there are four ways with which you can trigger the gestures the first is the rotate by x axis second is the rotate by y axis third is the rotate by z axis and fourth is with any key so you can assign any of the gestures to trigger any app or action in this phone after that you will also get the option to set the direction so in which way you want to rotate the phone and also you will be getting the option of repetition so either you want to select the single repetition or double repetition so when you are moving the phone it will determine whether you have to move the phone one time or two times to activate the gesture and also you can configure the sensitivity so sensitivity is an important thing as you don't want to accidentally open the apps or actions in the phone 
with the gestures so i will recommend you to keep the sensitivity low to prevent the accidental gestures also here you have to select the action which it will perform so under action you will be getting a number of options from opening apps to opening the notification and also recent tasks quick settings and there are more options also like you can configure specific task or switch on the bluetooth switch on wi-fi even you can switch on the torch lock screen take a screenshot so every little bit of an action you can configure with this app basically you can take full control of the device with the help of the gestures with this app in the netting phone one and there are other options like you can launch apps and launching apps means you can launch any apps which will be installed in this phone and there are app shortcuts also like you can open directly the google maps or you can contact someone directly by doing any of the gestures out there so what i will do is i will configure the music player to be controlled with the help of gesture and show you that you can play the music in the music player without even touching the controls in the phone you can do all the things with the help of gestures so let's configure my music player so that i can play the music with the help of gestures in the netting phone one so i will configure to open the music player first with the help of the gestures so i will go to rotate by y axis trigger mode and configure to open the spotify by going to the launch app option so here i will select the spotify app and once i select the spotify app i will come to the rotate by x axis and here i will configure it to play or pause the music so for this i have to go to the more actions option and scroll down and here i will get the option of media play and pause also i will configure to go to the next track by selecting the z axis so here under action i will go to more actions and configure to go to the next track so here the media next option is there which i will select so i have configured three gestures so one is to play and pause the music one is to open the spotify and the other is to go to the next track so let's see whether it is working or not and whether we are able to control the full music without even touching the phone only by the gestures in the nothing phone one so let's open the spotify first to open the spotify i have to just rotate the phone like this and the spotify has opened so let's see whether we are able to go to the next track so to go to the next track i have to perform a gesture like this so here you can see it went to the next track so again if you want to see whether it is going to the next track i have to perform the gesture like this and you can see it went to the next track again so every time i will do this it will go to the next track so this is a really good way to control the entire music player you can even pause or play the track with another gesture so definitely this is working fine and you can control the full music player with the help of the gestures up there also if you want to configure the actions with the help of the keys in this phone you can do that so for this you have to click on the press key volume up single and here you have to select the key pressed so there are two keys in this phone volume up and volume down you have to select the correct key and you can select the action which it will perform and that will perform the specified action for the key so if i am selecting something like recent task click on the stick symbol i can press the volume up key to go to the recent apps and this is a really good feature in the netting phone one in this way you can perform a lot of things and also you can control the entire phone with the help of the gestures in this netting phone one so definitely this is a really great feature to have and if you are into gestures this is a perfect app to enable all kind of gestures in this phone so that's it guys i just wanted to show you how you can activate these gestures in the nothing phone one and how this can really change the way we interact with this phone so i hope you have liked this video if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification up because i will be making more videos like this thank you guys have a great day thank you